It was about two hours ago that an emergency and closure crew finished boarding up this building behind me on what is Lewiston's main street, the building with several stores that at this time yesterday were probably closing up shop and probably figuring on opening again today. The morning shift at Orange Cat Coffee began normally for David Lorraine until about a half hour after they opened at six o'clock and there was a commotion down the street. It's like a dangling power line, but it's like it's got all the electricity flying from it. One of his co-workers took this video as the line arced under a downpour. It's making that like electricity sound. I can feel it, you know, and it was it was just like unreal. The building was soon ablaze and it didn't take long for firefighters to get here from the firehouse just down the street, joined by several other companies, including one from the Niagara Air Reserve Base. But by dawn, it became evident the structure had been heavily damaged, destroying three businesses, a barber shop, a clothing boutique and a frame store. I'm so devastated. Barbara Tremblay, who has owned Soli Creations for 19 years, was comforted by Lynn Stevens, who with her son owns the barber shop, which opened less than two years ago. We're going to look for another spot because it'll probably be at least a year. As the investigation began as to what caused the power line to come down onto a metal downspout, we saw a worker from the frame shop salvaging what he could, while the owner of the pizza shop at the far end of the building, which has been in business here for 56 years, told me they were saved by a cinder block firewall. She called me at 7 o'clock this morning, and I, I'm sick anyway. I've been struggling from a car accident and all this. Like, it's been a bad... <laughs> To be waking up with like that message, be like, hey, your place is on fire, yeah. or hey, you might want to get over there real quick. That's like the most heart dropping feeling. Especially so close to the holidays when these small shops might be doing their biggest business. They have families at home. This is their livelihood, and it's yeah. just ruined, and there's no one to blame. It's just one of those freak things that happens. Fire officials report that thankfully no one was hurt in the blaze. But as you just heard in our report, there are definitely some broken hearts here tonight. Reporting live in Lewiston, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.